yes uh, we are on time uh, respected uh, friends student friends faculties of mangalore university and other universities and well wishers and the uh, readers and the fan followers of swami vivekananda my dear young friends uh, swami vivekananda our perennial source of inspiration is also an epitome of service Swami Vivekananda gave an amazing concept on service where his popular concept called servant leadership is worth doing phd in fact so my dear friends in this note i can tell you that uh, ramakrishna mat mangaluru uh, with the uh, support of uh, mangaluru university set up a uh, swami vivekananda study center in mangalore university is official center of mangalore university on the auspicious birthday of swami vivekananda on 1st of uh, 12th of january 2021 in order to instill the values of service renunciation faith in oneself and a concept of human excellence based on the life and teachings of swami vivekananda mangalore university established the swami vivekananda study center under the guidance and support of ramakrishna mat mangalore the center has an objective to facilitate uh, the students at large to gain a clarity in thoughts purity in emotion efficiency in action thereby awakening the self and contributing to the society the study center also has an objective to study understand practice and spread the teachings of swami vivekananda the study center like to undertake the publication of books journals periodical research papers and digital contents it also has an aim to organize study circle youth circle talks workshops seminars conferences and activities on swami various activities on swami vivekananda for all works of life in order to uh, keep the spirit of a study center the center has decided to conduct a series of lecture on uh, the life and teachings of swami vivekananda it came up with a program called vivekavani on the every month 12th the study center used to organize this vivekavani lecture series with the support of mangalore university and the coordinators of study center every month we used to invite eminent personalities who are well versed on swami vivekananda today we got an opportunity to hear the special lecture on swami vivekananda titled seva for self transformation the vivekananda way by mrs swati ram director global partnership seva international bengaluru also among with us dr h r madhav swami joint director technical education division jss maha vidyapeet madhav sir uh, are you, uh, are you uh, can you please uh, uh, raise the hand i just check sir will join soon so before we commencing uh, the session we'll start with the shanti mantra om sahana bhavatu sahano bhunaktu sah viryam karavavahai karavahai navadhi tamastu ma vidvishavahai om shanti 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 hari om so among with us is dr shripati kalwaya sir convener swami vivekananda study center mangalore university dear sir i request you to welcome the gathering and the speaker thank you thank you shri ranjan uh, good evening to all of you i hope i am audible to all of you yes sir okay uh, it is indeed uh, proud that we are stepping into the 21st uh, vivekavani lecture series since from January 20 2021 uh, continuously on 12th of every month we are organizing this uh, uh, series of lectures by eminent scholars uh, who have been 
different uh, seen the Swami Vivekananda's philosophy at different angle. Uh, today we are very uh, lucky that uh, we have a talk on seva for self transformation, the Vivekananda way. Uh, talk by uh, Mrs. Swati Ram, Director, Global Partnership Seva International, Bangalore. Uh, Swati Ram is a social worker, thought leader, facilitator in social service and development sector. Her key focus has been in the area of uh, civil society participation in development. She has been connected with the Ramakrishna Mission and Sri Vivekananda's teaching since from her engage and her regular volunteering experience through her college days and uh, IT career inspired her to do uh, more to the society in the form of seva. She quit her job in 2011 from most prestigious corporate companies like Infosys, uh, maybe after four to seven years of service, and mainly to devote on full time to the uh, social sevas services. She currently serves as a director, global partnership at Seva International, Bangalore. She also serves on the board of advisors for being a volunteer organ organization aimed at creating positive impact on I think we have a network issue with uh, Shripad Dikularai, sir. Uh, Swati Madam, am I audible to you? Yeah, Ranjan. Yes, okay. So I'll continue. Society, through all. Uh, Shripad Dikularai, sir, can you please unmute yourself once? I hope uh, you can listen to me now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I'm very, I'm very glad to uh, welcome uh, Madam Mrs. Swati Ram to this, uh, deliver this uh, special lecture in the, in the, uh, what is that, what you call this lecture series program. Welcome, Madam. I also welcome as a special invitee that who has been with us, like Dr. Richard Madhya Swami, Joint Director of Technical Education Division, JSS uh, Vidya Peter. Mysore. Welcome you, sir. I also welcome Dr. Monika Sadananda from Mangalore University and uh, Dr. Ranjan and all other participants who have been very regularly uh, keenly participating in this particular lecture series program. I welcome one and all and thank you. Back to Ranjan. Thank you, sir, uh, for the warm welcome on this occasion. So let us not uh, delay, let us move towards the main agenda of today's program, that is a Viveka Vani spe special lecture number 21. The topic Seva for Self-Transformation, the Vivekananda Bay by Mrs. Swati Ram, Director of Global Partnership, Seva International, Bengaluru. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Ranjan. And uh, thank you, Shripati, sir, and uh, Mahadev, sir, and all the other riders. I have a very bad throat, so I'm very sorry. I'll try to speak as loudly as uh, possible. Um, this is a very um, great opportunity for me. I think I met uh, Ranjan first time around eight years ago yes. when both of us were co-speakers in an event. <laughs> uh, I think it's the love for Vivekananda and the inspiration of Ram Krishnamat, which probably yes. has bonded us together over these years. Um, sometime in 2019, I was in Mangalore. Um, and on a Sunday morning, when I think they were doing the commemoration of the 125th anniversary of Chicago Address, if I'm not wrong, I yes. saw that on an early Sunday morning, so many Mangaloreans had turned up for a Swacha Mangaluru program. Uh, so I don't know what to speak to such inspired crowd already, because it's easier to tell others to come out and do seva. But what do you really tell people who are already doing so much seva? So I really commend the work of Ramkrishnavat Mangaluru for all the Swacha Mangaluru and Swach Manas uh, programs they are hosting. Also, I think I've been seeing that this is the 21st lecture in this series. 
and a lot of my gurus have already spoken yes, here yes, from yes. my college time swami nirbhayanand ji has been the one who has guided me through this life and uh, swami podmayanand ji of vih ji he was the one who kept telling me that uh, it's not only about doing seva but you also have to come and talk about it so that you know the others know the actual india that is there around and i used to feel what's there you know seva every time palgail maadi edgaili helbardu antare and then you used to say talk about other inspiring lives and that you know should always motivate the others and give the picture of the actual india that is there and then of course nivedita bidai didi has been there she is a great inspiration uh, i'm saying so much because i don't know what i'll really do on this platform so kannada ellarigu baradrinda nan todil maatagalna daivittu you have to excuse and um, of course like ranjan said any time any of you want me to switch to kannada please feel very uh, free and open Uh, anyway, my Kannada is Kanglish, so I'm also shy to speak Kannada in front of a Bangalore crowd. So, in a way, I was relieved when Ranjan said you can talk in English. It's not the best thing to say, but I'm just honestly putting it out there. I just want to share my screen, Ranjan, because I prepared a small presentation. Uh, you know, I'm very happy that people always tease about Indian um, stretchable time, and that, but everybody here was. there before time so that's a big thing it's a lot to learn from india that people have we are punctual and uh, it's good to see that and uh, in being 7 pm on a monday everybody's busy day uh, i thought a ppt will keep people awake and active better than this so uh, seva and self transformation the vivekananda way so um, i just want to share a few experiences through stories Uh, because many times when we talk about vivekananda people say these are such lofty ideals how do you really live them in daily life but when you go across the country vivekananda himself they say wandering monk antalva eshtu pravasa madidru parivrajakar agidru so he saw so much which inspired him to meditate on india and nothing else in kanyakumari and that is the message he took to the world what the world can learn from india so through the stories that i've been fortunate to see across india in the last 10 plus years i would want to show you some people who are actually living these ideals or lessons of swami vivekananda in their life uh, the whole point of bringing seva into this whole series is swami ji said who serves jeeva serves god in the shiver gnane jeever seva so in a way through seva is one of the ways of realizing and achieving god which is actually the noblest and highest purpose of life all of us are here to pursue uh, so what is the purpose of seva i was recently listening to a small tidbit of a video by shri shri uh, guruji ravi shankar uh, when he said serve the word itself comes from seva which means living like him when i say him here is this it's the supreme power or the supreme consciousness whatever we all can call uh, uh, him or her or nature or whatever you want to call how does nature give or god give expecting nothing in return uh, it's a famous couplet also we have right taruvar phal nahi kaat does the tree eat its own fruit does the river drink its own water what does god ask from us what has bharat mata our country ask from us for all that we have been given so the whole concept of seva is to give expecting nothing in return and when we say about the joy which comes with this giving it is actually it's uh, beyond just joy of giving it is just the nature of our actual being we call it ananda many times there is no actual english word for a lot of our colloquial or regional terms or local terms ananda is like um, recently sarvapriyanand ji was here right he was saying we have to see brahma prakash everywhere in all his talks so this ananda is the nature of consciousness so the whole purpose of seva is living like that supreme being and that is what we are trying to achieve through this seva in the journey of transformation and that's exactly what swami vivekananda also said uh, he said in this world always take the position of the giver give everything that you have give love give every little thing you can keep out barter nan ishtu maarde ninninda nan yen aitu this is many times a very favorite term human thing we get into ayyo nange en sikto ashtella madidnalla nan which is but natural but swami ji always says take the position of giver just give out of your own bounty give everything that you have like god gives to us that is the whole purpose or the spirit of seva can we offer ourselves like that uh, there's a beautiful song which you people can see later it says seva he yagna kund samida sam ham jale so seva is like a yagna kunda samida andre whatever the put in the homa kunda alva can we burn ourselves like that 
in the yagna of seva that is the purpose of seva that is the spirit with which we have to work uh, so this uh, example i like quoting sometimes because it's a very relatable example um lot of you would have heard this said of course all of us have seen the beautiful emergence of a butterfly from a caterpillar right so the caterpillar is very happy enjoying its life eating whatever it gets and everything suddenly it realizes this is enough for me it goes into a cocoon it undergoes a lot of change and then it emerges as a beautiful butterfly so this is the way we all lead our lives we are so happy you know uh, enjoying the comforts and everything in the world we are like the caterpillars we have everything then suddenly we decide something is not enough in life what is it that we are lacking we want to do something so we get into this cocoon a spiritual cocoon called seva and we emerge as this beautiful butterfly so seva actually should be done without expecting anything in return but whether we like it or not seva actually ends up in a lot of self transformation i uh, primarily was putting this because many times we think we are doing something for others service not even a word we use we say help we help everyone our gitra help made we did this we did that and uh, swami vivekananda said when he went and said i want to help others sri ramakrishna paramahamsa is guru said who are you are you god to help others you can only serve you can only worship you can only you know seve madabodu anta so this word serve we are not helping and uh, when we serve many times we think we are changing the world but we are actually changing our internal world there is a lot of transformation lot of metamorphosis happening within ourselves so through some examples i just wanted to show how uh, each of us change and this i think is my firm conviction that anybody who has been volunteering or doing whatever bit for the society has failed that we have undergone a tremendous change in the years we have been doing it and uh, this is what swami ji also said that it is always preferable that even if you leave on grass you do it for the sake of doing good to others and he lived it through his life even when he went to us and people hosted him in palatial mansions he actually said as uh, you know he was crying sitting down and crying that my countrymen i don't know how much they are suffering how could i sleep on this big poster bed that is there in this palatial mansion so swami ji always said that that's the missed thing that you think of others right and serving these people the poor the illiterate the ignorant the in, uh, whatever the afflicted these should be your god and he called this dharma in india we have so much reverence to dharma right our highest uh, religion and uh, then he said this is our dharma that we serve whoever is in need so yeah so this journey that we take happens because of surrendering itself to a magical process and seva is that magical process sharanagati bhava antivalva sharanagati hondadaga ella sigutte ant because you are offering ultimately everything to god that's what krishna said in the gita also just offer everything at the feet of the lord which is same as the service we do also right so seva is so similar to this um, process that a butterfly undergoes and all of us all we need to do is submit ourselves surrender ourselves to this cocoon of seva it is the process which will make us much better than uh, what we are uh, so yeah i think um, what do we then learn why are we calling this a means of self transformation one thing the world probably has forgotten now is that we are also interconnected this is a very beautiful thing of uh, ramana maharshi very small thing ramana maharshi is known to give this simple lesson sala who are you who are you he kept asking a person and everything he said uh, he supposed the person says i am rama that's your name but who are you i am a businessman that's what you do but who are you so ramana maharshi was very known for giving such simple things and when somebody asked how are we supposed to treat others he said there are no others how do you treat when there are no others so this interconnectedness of life is something we are probably forgetting so this concept of oneness that is there in all the eastern traditions if you see it has been there from time immemorial uh, this reminds me of a small anecdote i had once read there was a farmer who was always winning a prize that they had in their you know uh, county for growing the best corn his corn always turned out very well and uh, it was so edible looked so good and the seeds were so perfect so once a newspaper decided to interview him and they asked this farmer how do you get such perfect corn every time what care do you take so among the many things that the farmer said he said i give good seeds to all my neighbors 
the newspaper was surprised he said don't you think by giving good seats to all your neighbors even the neighbors may start uh, winning this prize and you may lose he said how can my corn be good if all my neighbors corn is bad there is cross pollination which happens a lot of carrying over dust so this farmer had inter you know he had understood this interconnectedness so well and also that what he wanted his actual purpose was getting good corn not saying that others shouldn't get good corn so i win the prize so this interconnected is something that we all have to remember this inclusive consciousness today all the problems if you see a lot of them if you trace the root cause analysis it's because we see everybody is okay nanda itala nan bere yak yochane madli and this is what probably covid time also taught us that we are more interconnected than we believe right and this again swami ji says that expansion is life how do you expand yourself it's our privilege when we are allowed to be charitable because in everybody we are seeing the lord and trying to give back trying to serve the lord and everyone so that is expansion is life many people when we say expansion is life contraction is death we might think what does swami ji really mean but this is what he means this inclusive consciousness are we building so this is what brings about the journey of self transformation through seva uh, so the seva bhava that we say is a very intrinsic value whether we realize it or not it's embedded between within all of us you know i Uh, sometimes you'll be surprised so this is a lady a young girl actually that i met in one of the uh, villages in medak district of telangana she only is as tall as you see in the picture that is she has no limbs can you see what she is doing she is actually coming and teaching the children of the village imagine what should be there in her and this is not like she's paid or she has a job to do this lot of these children who are in slums and go to schools who is there to make them do homework or you know uh, help them with what they learnt in the class when they come back from school so this girl comes daily she comes on a wheelchair pushes it on her own teaches them and goes right um, this is a computer center which is run in one of the slums in um, chennai you can see vivekananda there so this is in some remote corner of slum you can see there is no building also with all flex he has got he has built some shed and put some uh, computers there so when i asked this man uh, what really inspired you to do this he said uh, i didn't get any education but i see in tv and all people just uh, do something on computer they earn well they lead a good life so i at least wanted the children and youth of my slum to have it he doesn't know english he doesn't know computers he said one thing but i am inspired by swami vivekananda swami vivekananda when he was just moving out of his um, you know he was casting off his body he said i'll always continue to work through many people around the world and you can actually see that in action uh, somebody has raised their hand ranjan i don't know if they want to ask questions now or if they have a answer later yeah yeah uh, so these are the kind of people you can actually see this is how the seva bhava is so intrinsic and imagine what these people are asking in return uh dvg sings this beautiful song right vanasuma dolenna jeevanavu vikasisu ante manavana anugolisu guruve they are all blooming like vanasumas probably if we didn't see them uh, you know and uh, uh, portray them today we wouldn't have even come to know so swami ji this is the seva bhava swami ji talks about when we think swami ji spoke so much about india as just to do big things but he said every small bit is so important because he said even if a stray dog of my country remains without food my religion would be to first feed and take care of them so the seva bhava is such an intrinsic value that's how it transforms us uh, maya or illusion we call as actually crowded it bodhi mutputi da na kenda namalli ro seva bhava na but uh, that is how we could learn and get inspired by these people um a interesting story again when i was living in bhagyanagar hyderabad a few years ago i met this man called sp he was known as sp i think nobody knew his uh, actual name every day morning 9 o'clock he used to start and feed all the stray dogs in about 10 areas of hyderabad around him so much so that he had a name for every dog and he knew which biscuit every dog likes he said this is bola he likes osmania biscuit this dog likes parleji biscuit imagine the kind of uh, love the person has doing services one thing he knows the name of every dog he knows the favorite and uh, this is what he said he knew kannada so he said uh, ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ನಾನು ಅರ್ಧ ಹುಚ್ಚ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ರು ನನ್ನ ಹೆಂಡತಿ ಬಂದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಹುಚ್ಚ ಅಂತ ಅವಳು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಹಟ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಐ ಮೋಟಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಗ
without uh, feeding the stress in the morning. And this is something all of us would have seen at our homes. That's why I'm saying it is so ingrained in the Eastern traditions. And this SP continues to do it, right? And uh, this is again another person, a very uh, young at heart, a uh, senior citizen, if I could call, more than 70 plus, uh, 70 years of age. Sharmaji, I met him in Ghaziabad. I don't know if you can make out what he's doing, but he used to build bird houses of thrown away sweet boxes. You can see a Haldiram's box here. So those holes are for the birds to put their children in and for the mother to come and feed through those holes so that the children stay warm. So 70 years and plus, and Sharmaji used to build such boxes and distribute it across Ghaziabad. He used to put his number everywhere and just do it as a seva, not as, you know, money. He used to say, I'm one way tackling trash and saving so many sparrows because sparrows are actually becoming extinct. We hardly see sparrows nowadays, right? So this is the kind of love when uh, intrinsically people feel they have to do something even for animals. So a lot of times we question what happens if you feed 10 dogs or what happens if you save 20 sparrows? I think again, all of you would have heard this story, but just street rating because it's so much in context here. There was a mom who was walking along the ocean line and uh, every starfish, you know, the starfish has come to the shore, but they actually die. They can only live in the water. So, but still they get washed away to the shore. So this mom used to throw away every starfish on his route back to the sea. So father and son were taking a walk one day and they asked the mom, how many will you do? There are thousands and lakhs coming ashore. So the monk takes one starfish, throws it back into the ocean and says, I made a difference in this starfish life. And that's enough for this moment. So many times we think what happens with this small thing we are doing, but these ripples are what cause the big hole. And uh, that's the way Sharmaji or SP are trying to do whatever they can in the world. So what transformation seva when you go brings about is it brings about so much optimism in you. Uh, many times if you see we get, all of you would have realized this if you reflect upon it, we feel so frustrated when we see problems around us. Oh, see what is happening. This is like this, that is like that. But the moment you try to do something, the inaction into action, you start feeling more positive about it. And uh, Swamiji also spoke about this as conviction in the power of goodness. For anything to be successful, the first thing which is required is that firm conviction in the power of goodness. Believe that whatever we do will be lead in goodness, however small that act might be. So this is one transformation that you see Seva actually bringing about, right? Uh, so beautiful quote again by Swamiji. Sometimes only few quotes of Swamiji are reiterated again and again, but he has said it all. We might need ages just to read Swamiji. He says everybody can show what evil is, but he is a friend of mankind who actually finds a way out of the difficulty. So Seva or doing some service actually helps us think about the solution and be, you know, uh, kind of channel all our helplessness into compassion and actually think of the solution and be a change. In management terms, because you all have come from many colleges, we speak about circle of concern and circle of influence, right? Circle of concern is always so big. It keeps making us tense. But there's a circle of influence, small one. I might make a small change, but that also leads to a change in the society, right? A uh, lot of it is stories. What are the first things you see when you see this? As soon as I ask, a lot of people say poverty and uh, we feel so bad for them. But uh, the first picture is from again a slum in Bangalore uh, where a school is run for migrant workers uh, by a lady, a volunteer called Latara for more than uh, 15 years now. That girl comes to school every day with a sibling because her parents are daily late. But she still comes to school. Then this is again from a slum in uh, Hyderabad near an area called Muspet. Look at the happiness on those children's places. They're just happy sitting there and studying. There's an ala passing by, there's construction happening. We look for a study table, a chair, light sari partaidya, mundin partaidya, hindin partaidya. So all the time we see so much of negative and we see this picture. Uh, but this is actually how children are studying in India. This picture, I don't know how many of you have seen um, leprosy affected patients. They usually lose all their limbs. If you see this lady, she's actually doing hard work with her knuckles. She holds needles between her knuckles. This is the artwork she has done by just doing that. This was at a leprosy home in Hyderabad again. How Look at the contentment on the faces of those children. I mean, they just have a bag. They're happy they're going to school. I'd ask them once, you look so happy. She said, I went to school today. We are learning. Right? 
and then look at the resilience this lady who was affected that knuckles we give so many different um, reasons right why we are not able to do things how is that lady doing all the hard work there's a video actually i can share later there was no time here but i actually saw how she does it and i thought this would be the best gift we can actually give people i got a lot uh, from her uh, so gratitude for life again how many times do we grip um we didn't get this today water was not there for 4 hours we lost power in bangalore it's been raining since 3 days and people are acting like it's the end of the world <laughs> so much rain how do we do this we have to sit at home not and uh, look at how against all odds people are trying to you know carry on with their life so how much gratitude do we learn in life this is how seva leads to self transformation not because we are keeping that as the aim while doing uh, seva and of course clears a lot of misconceptions the first time i see about india girls are not sent to study girls are married off of course there are problems but even recently we did a parents meeting of all children that we sponsored through one of our projects in bangalore on a sunday morning about 300 children turned up with uh, their parents 70% of them were girls some of them are doing ca mba and all of them from small busties and you know whose parents are maids drivers So actually, working on the field clears a lot of misconceptions. We think so much different of India because of how it is portrayed in different places. So even to bust those myths, we have to get down on the field, and then we realize and feel so good about what India is and actually what it can give to the world. Um, yeah, again, uh, just a story. And this Swami Ji, he actually follows Vivekananda again. That's why I was saying, imagine Vivekananda said, "I'll continue to inspire people." and he is still doing it when we went to kanyakumari actually we took a wrong turn by mistake and we saw that there is a small center called vivekananda kudil and the swami ji again a 70 plus years uh, young uh, person said that you know i started working here during uh, tsunami times when i built about 300 homes but then i saw there is so much to do here and so much love in people that he just continued working there for ages he's just been doing everything that is necessary the children come there to study for the women he runs tailoring center a small center where probably cars cannot even enter right and uh, recently just last week i was in a place called sangola which is very near to pandarpur and uh, there i met this lady called dr sanjeevini kelkar uh, she apparently is she's from pune from a very well educated family moved on to sangola when she got married Uh, the first lady doctor there and for years she was the only lady doctor when she saw that the famine of 1972 had uh, wreaked such havoc she had a good job right and she had a family nursing home and everything she could have just led her life but she was so affected by what what was going on that in 1978 she started mata balak one of the organizations to work for the mothers and the children and i put this photo because they run a school for all the needy kids around and how beautiful that school is what swami ji spoke about quality education right they did a flowers conference just to teach the second standard children about what different kinds of flowers are there because that's a drought prone area also and not many plants grow so the teachers are so committed and 1978 and 2022 they're still running it uh, and then uh, i think about 3 months ago i went to ramkrishna mission sohra in uh, cherapunji more uh, better known as cherapunji uh, in meghalaya Ramkrishna Mission Sohra has been running 48 schools around the state to cater to education more than 11000 children study there and this is happening from 1924 most things probably from before i was born and many of you here of course were in born uh, so many times what happens is while we are doing seva i think you had a lecture by dr r balu also right um, he usually tells this joke which i find very amusing and how true it is he says ಟೂತ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ದಿನದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾಜ ಬದಲ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತೀರ ಮೂರ್ ದಿನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ನೋ ಪೇಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ ಟು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಐ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ and uh, we have started this school and imagine ramkrishna mission has been running this school it's going to be 100 years now and uh, when i talk meghalaya all of you who are especially interested in geography got close to bangladesh border so there are many schools on the border where it's not even easy to work this a place called shella where they started the first school 
So, how much of patience does this kind of uh, seva teach us? The things are not changing in a day. Again, to give a very um, amusing example, there was a monkey which got tired of searching for food. So, what it did is it planted a few grounded uh, plants in its backyard. What it did, every day it used to see, it will ground it, grow if you keep uprooting the plant daily. So, patience is so important, right? And uh, then humility. Imagine the kind of work these people are doing and uh, they're still not kind of proud of it. They feel that it's just, we should do this. It, what is there? Um, again, when I was near Sangola, this time I met a person in a village called Vatambare. Uh, power. He, uh, he, they call him Jaldut. Like I said, uh, mentioning again, this is all a drought prone region. So he has done a lot of work. Jaldut, messenger for water, right? He has done a lot of uh, work uh, in association with Mata Balak and another organization called Seva Vardini in Pune to revive a lot of water sources, the ancient ones, and find indigenous solutions to water. This person has man, won many awards, like in LATS. And he said, uh, somebody told me that he has given all the prize money back to the village. Saying all this work belongs to the village. How can the prize belong to me? How can the money belong to me? And uh, when I asked him this, did you, how could you really do this? He said, I got 25,000 just day before I gave it off to a girl's wedding. Now look at how much work people do and uh, they are not even known in the world and they are not expecting it. So, Doing seva as a transformational journey makes us so humble. Are, hum kya kar rahe ultimately, it has to motivate us, but it also keeps us so grounded that imagine somebody doing so much and what are we actually able to do, right? Um, especially in this selfie seva world where you can just catch your, <laughs> you know, we can catch our phones and take a selfie of every work we are doing. Uh, this matters a lot, how much humility we have. So a lot of people ask that, uh, you know, is it bad to then post photos? Because a lot of volunteers will get also have this doubt. So I say, intrinsically, we should know why we are posting it. Probably to spread message of the good, to keep it, um, you know, nice and uh, positive, the environment, and inspire others to do that. Let's to talk about ourselves. So that is the way if we could present the photos, brings in a lot of humility in us. So again, like Swamiji said, because this is all the Vivekananda way and you can see how beautifully everything maps to what Swamiji told ages ago, what a visionary he was. He said the purity, patience and perseverance are the three essentials and above all love. None of these people working for the society could probably work if they didn't have this love. And I recently met uh, Asha Kaoman, I think she lives somewhere near Ramnagra. And uh, she actually cremates bodies, unclaimed bodies. Imagine how difficult a work this is. And uh, especially for women, right? She has kids and um, she said one of her uncles used to be an ambulance driver. And he used to get called every time they find a body near the railway tracks, which is not claimed. So while uh, he was doing this, she thought she got a doubt as to Okay, my uncle takes these bodies and puts them in the government, uh, you know, uh, mortuary or wherever. But who is going to give them a proper burial? Because especially in our dharma, we believe in dignity in death, right? So even to that level, there should be dignity and all the karya should be done properly. So she said, if they have nobody, why can't I do it? And she started cremating these unclaimed bodies. And um, so much so that her family pushed her out. Her husband said, hena hai tor jatena niraka gala. I can't be with a lady who actually lifts dead bodies. Still, she continues to do this work. Imagine what kind of difficult work people are doing. How much humble uh, this should actually make us. Uh, so these are the kind of people you actually uh, see around. And uh, I, uh, we had another volunteer uh, many uh, you know years ago. I think this was about 10 years ago when I just started working full time. A young student, she said she wants to teach. And... Uh, I mapped her to one of the destitute homes for boys. She used to study in college, go every day to teach these boys later. Once uh, she had given these boys some homework and when she was correcting their assignments, I saw she was using magnifying lens. I was a little surprised because the font was pretty big. So I thought, why is she using it? And that day she told me, Didi, I actually only have 70% vision in my eyes. That's the reason I have to use a magnifying lens even to correct assignments. 
Imagine the kind of uh, seva bhava she has to have. That she had 70% vision. First of all, she was not complaining about life or why only I had to undergo this. And she still wants to give back to the society. And over the years, that's why I said so many people uh, you end up meeting like this. That it shows you that how grounded we are to be. Uh, one more story like this is we used to do a lot of volunteering in a blind hostel in Hyderabad. Um, and in blind hostel, I, I don't know how many of you are aware, but there were, especially some years ago, there were very few braille printers available. So every page sheet of paper we write, to convert it into braille, apparently it took more than four hours or something. And they used to do it with some knob thing like this. They type it like this. Their hands and all uh, become very, very, you know, they get those uh, bubbling things and all this. And um, in such a hostel, there were two boys who once said, why do you always ask us what we need? Can you tell us what we can do for the society? Two uh, visually challenged boys. This is the spirit with which people want to do seva. And uh, this is a true example of uh, how sevit becomes sevak. That everybody can actually contribute back to the society. Many times, when we are doing seva, we think some people are there just to take seva, right? I think the greatest empowerment anybody can do is by making them feel they can also give back to the society. Recently, the same Sangola when I went, when I was narrating such a story, the uh, Dr. Sanjeevni who started it was saying that once uh, one of the student's father had a paralytic stroke and uh, she asked one of her donors to keep supporting the education of the student. Um, it seems after about four years, the mother of the student came back and said, now I am able to afford my uh, son's education. So please take back this money that I have saved from whatever you give me. And use it to educate another student. This is the kind of people we see. We always talk about, hey, basti, adu, idu, what is it? You, It is so different. You have to walk into some bastis. I have gone and eaten in their houses. Um, they serve you with so much love. They want to educate their daughters. The men pay a lot of respect. There are always exceptions everywhere. Uh, but this teaches us so much about India and uh, the world itself when we go like this, right? Uh, so I think uh, to just summarize the examples what I was trying to bring about as seva for self-transformation. When Swami Vivekananda returned from the West, he delivered a series of lectures. Uh, now we all know when, uh, I'll take questions after this uh, Ranjit, I think I just have a few more slides. Yes. Um, so when Swami Vivekananda went uh, to the West, like uh, whatever he meditated in Kanyakumari on the rock, right? It was all on Bharat Mata. What can India give to the world and what can I bring back so that our masses are uplifted? Uh, so when he went and came back, especially, he delivered a series of lectures. And I think even in the first one that he delivered, um, he said the lesson that India can give to the world is oneness in practice. If you remember, we started this whole talk also by discussing how, about this inclusive consciousness that we are all interconnected. We are all one. And Swamiji spoke about expansion in life. So this oneness in practice, he said, can be brought about by doing seva. By serving man, you serve God. And so by seeing God in every man, we can practice this oneness. Uh, so he, in fact, questioned people. You should also remember when these times were. Before the 1900s, Swamiji, um, you know, gave up his mortal body in 1902. You should remember the times then when people had a lot of uh, differences in society. They wouldn't probably touch people at all. And he said, how will you even get salvation just by being confined to books? If you keep reading about that everybody is one, you will not get salvation. Can you at least feed a hungry mouth with some bread? Right? And that is when he said all love is expansion and all selfishness is cut. And um, another beautiful message that Swamiji gave, he said for the next 50 years, let Mother India be your God. What other God is there? She is the God that is awake. So make Mother India your God, right? And uh, he said, beyond everything, we need Chitta Shuddhi, purifying ourselves, our thoughts and um, our actions. And how do we do this? By worshipping people. Worship everyone as God, not only man. He even spoke of animals. And these are the first uh, uh, gods we have to worship and the first gods we have to worship are our countrymen. This is when Swamiji spoke about serving the motherland. Uh, serving our country and I saw Nivedita Didi also in one of the lectures had spoken about you know seva for nation building this is what it means man making leads to nation building and these are the two most beautiful lessons Swamiji gave uh, man making for nation building 
again an anecdote i think all of you would have heard of this but uh, there were a father and son arranging a puzzle uh, so this was actually the world map so the little boy was struggling actually when he had to actually do the map the father turned the puzzle to the other side and the boy did it very easily because it was the face of a man so the lesson it had is when we build ourselves we build our nation we build the world so it's ourselves that we need to transform and this message of man making for nation building and ultimately building the whole world because in india we speak about vasudeva kutumbakam is the message that swami ji gave and he said started from here you should uh, we should also focus on the words that swami ji says he says worship seva is puja for him seva is an act of worship many times we say seva volunteering is uh, duty duty also is you're just doing it because you have to do but he says it's worship do it as puja seva should be done as puja worship the men worship the animals worship the country right and uh, very beautifully what said uh, this whole thing we have to read the whole chapter is very good where swami ji speaks about oneness in practice but when a disciple asks sir what is really the necessity at all for doing good to others swami ji said it's for our own good why because we forget the ego we are always associating ourselves with this body and uh, being you know kind of feeling uh, so good about ourselves it's all about the body but the more we think of others uh, the more we think of doing seva we are so forgetful of this ego and we become very very oblivious of the self that the body that is there then we reach that state which ramana maharshi said right where who you are others there are no others right and swami ji importantly says this is also one of the ways of god realization there is a debate many times as to when do we do our you know, everything else for realizing god if we keep doing seva what beautiful way that do we need then seeing god in everyone then you actually realize god right uh, so this is where swami ji how beautiful it is if we actually reflect on this meditate on this he could have just said moksha or anything as the motto of the ram krishna movement it started but he said atmano mokshartam jagat hitaya cha yes for the liberation of one's own self but also for the good of the world and this is what he tried to live all his life and also preached all his life through all his teachings and um, kali yuga they say right hari nama is the easiest way of achieving god i think the other <laughs> simplest way is seva that to keep serving and some day we realize a state where there are no others and all of us are one in this oneness in practice will bring us to the lesson of everything that we have learned that uh, we are all expressions of that one but uh, supreme god that is there uh, so how should we really give we all keep singing this song but uh, i don't know how many times you've got too much in the meaning of this written by the bhakti poet nasin mehta sung mostly on gandhi jayanti so many people also think gandhi ji wrote it but it was written by a bhakti poet many years ago he wrote it beautifully even the first four lines as to vaishnav jana to tene kahiye je peed parai jane re who is a vaishnava we speak so much about vaishnava how much does he worship all that but uh, narsin mehta says who is a vaishnava he is a vaishnava who je peed parai jane re he understands the pains of others but what is more important than that पर दुख के उपकार करे तो ये वन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पेन ऑफ अदर्स स्वामी जी आल्सो सेज राइट अ हार्मोनियस पर्सनालिटी इज 3h हेड टू थिंक इज रिक्वायर्ड हार्ट टू फील इज आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड बट व्हाट यू आल्सो नीड इज हैंड टू वर्क वी कीप थिंकिंग एंड फीलिंग बट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू एक्शन सो पर दुख के उपकार करे तो ये व्हेन ही हैज सर्व्स दो इन मिजरी मन अभिमान ना आने रे ही डजंट लेट दैट प्राइड गेट टू हिज माइंड Oh yes, I'm doing seva. I left everything and I'm doing seva. This is the first lesson one of my mentors also gave me when I quit my job. People will keep patting your back. Oh, Infosys bit putla, Infosys bit putla. Don't get carried away by this, because ultimately, I think uh, over years, even Ranjan and others will agree we are all doing this. I keep saying there is so much selfishness in selfless causes. We are all happy and probably sleeping peacefully at night, which is why we are doing this. So you know, this is the most beautiful lesson one of my mentors then gave me. So, उपकार करे तो ये मन अभिमान ना आने नेवर गेट दट प्राइड गो टू अवर माइंड एंड ऑल अवर दिस इज द लेगेसी वी बिलोंग टू इन इंडिया नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस टेन ट्वेंटी थर्ड इज हिस्स जयंती राइट कमिंग सून 
he said it does not matter which of us will be alive to see India free, but it's important that our motherland is free. Imagine the kind of legacy we come from. I mean, they said it's okay if we are not there, but our motherland should be free. Uh, that's the spirit that these uh, people have left for us and that's the legacy we leave in. And uh, this is how we have to do seva. And uh, whether we want it or not, self-transformation is bound to come. That's why I made a small change in the topic when Rajan gave seva for self-transformation. I said seva and self-transformation because we should not do seva for, for something. But seva definitely brings about self-transformation. <laughs> Sorry for the small change, Rajan. Uh, but I felt that carried so much import because uh, um, side effect free but that's how self-transformation comes with seva, though we don't want to do it. And it's a journey, of course. Uh, do we always stick to being so good? No. Again, we go back to our humane ways of feeling bad, feeling proud. But again, we do seva and wash up them. You know, Parama Puja Swami Gautamananda ji always used to tell in college days once when I was asking him something that uh, how do we keep to these good qualities, you know, good thoughts always. He used to say, now we are dischargeable batteries. We have to keep recharging ourselves. We are all batteries. Swabhavika. It's obvious that we get discharged. That's why we have to keep going to satsangs, uh, meet like-minded people, everything to keep charging ourselves. So it's okay to sometimes go back and feel uh, proud or feel, you know, kind of uh, great about something or feeling like not doing anything. What we should do is not being there in that state. We should remember we have to come back of it and why we are actually doing it. And uh, the words of the great monks, the great leaders that we have had will surely guide us in that way. And this is what I wanted to share. I think because we have been talking about so much of seva also, how uh, much I think uh, India and the Eastern traditions, like I said, have been built upon living for others. Because one of the greatest play prayers we sing is for the Sukha and Hita of everyone. So I just want to end this talk. Uh, and uh, before that, thank uh, Mangaluru University, uh, Tamakrishna Ashma Mangaluru, and of course Ranjan again for giving me this opportunity. I want to end again with this uh, Shanti Mantra, which prays for the good of everybody in the world. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Ma Kashti Dukha Bhagavade. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. We always say Bahujana Hitaya, Bahujana Sukhaya. So let us all work together for the good of our country and the world at large. Vande Mataram. Thank you so much, uh, Swatiji, for such a uh, worth noting uh, uh, talk. Seva and self-transformation, as you uh, mentioned, uh, because the seva should not be uh, you know, focused on something for, uh, because it should be a selfless. Uh, as Swami Vivekananda once wrote to a, a disciple that I do not believe uh, in a god or a religion that does not bring a piece of bread to the orphan's mouth or wipe away the widow's tear, though that's in such way, uh, or uh, in, in the very way that you know, half a, a loaf of uh, bread is better than uh, uh, no bread at all. These words uh, reflect his constant and deep concern for a common man. So, how uh, Swami Vivekananda was, and what more, uh, so many things to learn from Swamiji's. Uh, life and messages so uh, really it's uh, you no know, inspiring and uh, my dear young friends this talk is uh, uh, available in the youtube uh, after the session i'll share the link when you are free you can listen this talk again and i also thank the our uh, technical support team a1 logics uh, shri pravin Udupaji. So meanwhile, let's move towards another segment of this uh, lecture, that is uh, the talk by a special invitee. Later on, we'll come back with our speaker. Uh, Swati Madam is going to uh, answer for a question and answer uh, session. So now uh, uh, with us is Dr. Uh, H.R. Mahadev Swami, Joint Director, Technical Education Divisions, uh, JSS Mahavidyalaya. So, sir, uh, we are very glad to have you on this occasion. Uh, Madam, he, uh, the sir, backed with a tremendous academic excellence where in the JSS uh, Mahavidya Pit, he is doing a fantastic work in the research and development, motivating the whole lot team. Uh, recently, he visited to the Ramakrishna Math Manglu and to the uh, Swatch Manglu activities uh, to learn more about that shows 
uh, though as long as leave so long do i learn so even at this uh, uh, you know uh, busiest schedule he came and he learned many things on the waste management also during that tenure i requested sir to address uh, on this occasion dear sir thank you so much for accepting yeah, thank you thank you so much uh, sir uh, please go ahead sir uh, we need yeah. your words of motivation yeah. Yeah, th thank you, Swamiji. So, uh, remembering the uh, Suturu Guru Parampara and offering my humble pranams to the lotus feet of His Holiness uh, Jagat Guru Shri Shri uh, Shivarathi Deshikendra Swamiji and also the Ramakrishna Mart and Ramakrishna Mission led by Swamiji, uh, Swami uh, Jikamananda Ji and of course uh, Mr. Ranjan Dalal Padi and the speaker of today, uh, the lecture series, Seva for Self Transformation, Mrs. Uh, Swati Ram. And uh, the Mangalore University uh, convener, Swami Vekananda Study Center, uh, Professor Shipati Kaluraya, and also Dr. Monica. So, all the uh, audience who are present here, and uh, all, uh, for everybody, it's a good evening and namaskar. I think I'm just listening to Ms. Swati Ram's uh, uh, the talk or the lecture or the whatever. So, she's very wonderful. I think uh, the, she spoke very well about the seva, uh, what is required for today or tomorrow. Uh, thing well covered and uh, of course just to uh, mention few uh, now uh, I visited uh, Ramakrishna Mad and Ramakrishna Mission uh, along with our other colleagues uh, from uh, our university and DSS Mahavita Pita uh, just to see and uh, what is the you know the happening at Ramakrishna Mad Ramakrishna Mission and also such Bharat uh, Abhyan uh, and also the Manglu Resource uh, Management facilities really they are doing a wonderful job that is a basically a service. Because when I look at uh, the, when I went to the near Karkal, the fantastic job. I think uh, when I just coming back uh, from Mangalore to uh, Mysore, we were just talking only that particular thing. And also I met our Swamiji, uh, Sutur Swamiji, when I was uh, back uh, from uh, Mangalore next day itself. Uh, by the time uh, Mr. Ranjan Ali replied to the email and we were just discussing, he told, uh, when I go to do it, I told Swamiji, if you give permission, tomorrow itself we start. Then he said, go ahead. Um, then he asked me a question, when, where you are going to do it, whether in Mysore or Suttur. Then I told so, Mysore, no, no, don't do it in Mysore, you do it in Suttur. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that seva or service uh, is not, you know, just, you cannot inculcate or you cannot, you know, the, so it comes from inside. So that's what I believe. So many of the things I think uh, the, I, I was associated really, I mean, you know, uh, is I open up for me when uh, Mrs. Swati Raman mentioned. Uh, in fact, I was associated for so many years. Uh, with such, such an organization. For example, I was in the uh, Siddhanganga Mutt uh, earlier uh, for about uh, more than 10 years. I was in Siddhanganga Mutt. In fact, this is a very, for me, I feel even now, I feel that I was with uh, Swamiji doing some small uh, service to uh, mankind. In any other function, I think, I, I don't know, I mean, if you know that we, Siddhanganga Mutt serves, uh, a lot of people are staying in the hostel, uh, free education, free food, free health, everything. And uh, they, there will be basically the uh, Swamiji's birthday celebrated every April 1st. So I'm talking earlier, Swamiji. So every day, so every time there'll be a minimum of 1 to 1 1.5 lakhs people uh, will provide the food. So that's a service. That means they can, we, we are volunteers. Uh, say volunteers for you know, uh, preparing a food, the serving, cleaning, anything. I think I was, you know, very, still I remember those days in early 80s and early 90s. Uh, which uh, we so now currently with the JSS, I think we have you know, so many people. If you may maybe um, the January 18th to 22nd, we have a Suturu Chatra, which is one of the big event in the uh, Mysore and Chamnagar district. And uh, the probably uh, the, we are expecting about uh, close to around uh, seven to eight lakh people visiting the uh, Suturu Jatra, and all of them, uh, whether uh, uh, the provided the prasadam, morning, afternoon, evening, and all those things. So now. In fact, our team had been to the to procure the uh, the rice and the dal. Believe me or not, we are procuring close to around 900 quintals of uh, uh, rice and the 250 quintals of uh, uh, dal. So we went to Gulbarga and uh, Balari. So what I'm trying to tell is that service, uh, because no, no, we here the, at the back end, uh, we have so many volunteers, so many service oriented people in here. And it's not a just you know providing the prasadam or the food, the kind of service which they have in mind, uh, which probably it will come. For example, we have one polytechnic, uh, madam. Uh, just we have a JSS polytechnic for differently abled. Uh, here, 80% of the students who are here with this polytechnic are deaf and deaf. They cannot talk, they cannot uh, they listen. So, 10% are visually impaired. And another 10% is orthopedically impaired. 
So all this movement, close to around 350, uh, around 1,000 students are with us. And they, we, they 100% are staying in a hostel. Imagine normal students in a hostel managing itself is difficult. And the students of close to 1,000 people who are very difficult, all differently able. So managing them in the hostel plus teaching them. So teaching is not in English or Canada. So teaching them in happens in the sign language. Sign language which they understand, especially for different time. And for the blind, we teach in the braille language. So now this is so now what I'm trying to so those students who are there in the jatra, which is going to happen in the uh, jatra or any function, big functions happens in the sutur, uh, mud, the sutur, uh, the, any function. These students, that is physically disabled, differently able student, come as a volunteer to serve the food. Serve the food. About more than about 100 students will come and so disciplined and so well organized, they serve without wasting even a single drop of uh, this thing or single piece of this thing. So really, no, what I'm trying to tell you, so the service is like a basically in the blood. So now, possibly this is Swami Vekananda, because I'm following it for many, many years. So I mean, since a child, I know maybe I was in the fifth or sixth channel, if I remember, I was associated with the Ramakrishna Mahat in Mysore and also Bangalore in Chamlet Fed. And I keep going and uh, so I'm keep, I read so many books. Not one, two, there are all the, most of the books were published, but I've read all the books, uh, uh, they seen, and of course, I listen to the, uh, so many Pravachana, so, much. so a lot of things, I think, that in, what inspires us is Swami Vivekananda, because I read so many books of uh, uh, Swami Vivekananda Ji books. So what inspires us is basically something which you have to do to society. Uh, that's what I was just telling Mr. Ranjan when I visited uh, at uh, Mangalore. So now, so what uh, we can do, maybe a small way, maybe uh, for a, well, it could be uh, like a, a poor or disabled or anybody, so which which it, it comes. So maybe the currently uh, the many of the you know youth or the, the students or the, the other people voluntarily coming up. And maybe because in, in our institute as well we have a lot of students that voluntarily comes. We never you know insist them to come and help us. So a lot of people come and they service. Maybe in the hostel or in the so the cleanliness activity or any other thing. Maybe so that's uh, what we require today. I mean, Mr. Swatiram has covered very well with the examples, with a lot of you know, case study kind of thing, which you know, definitely inspire the youth and also other people uh, to do service. Maybe if you look at today, we have a 4,000 students in the uh, Sutur Mat all across India, from Kashmir to the Kanyakumari, all are uh, say first standard to 10 standard students who are in the hostel. It's a free boarding, lodging, school, health, everything. So we, we, we are you know, just you know, doing this uh, you know, for many years. Every year, it's like 4,000, 4,500 students we studying here, both girls and boys, across about 76 religions. So uh, all the religion people are there. No no caste and creed and kind of thing. So, so like if you go there, maybe once in a while we go there and we offer a service for many people, maybe the students, maybe NSS or NCC, or the students to go there and do the service. Maybe this kind of you know, things, if they inculcate in the students and the youth and the children, uh, definitely, uh, this will help uh, in, in a long run, severe, they'll mold themselves and with the mind of service. Because I'm just looking at the volunteers who are in the Ramakrishna Mart and Ramakrishna Mission in Mangalore. Many of the people like Mrs. Swati Rami, she said she quit from Infosys and chat. And also I heard like a, a Karkal when I went, he said I was a Mipro and I quit and that's due to this uh, Mangalore resource management. Really, you know, very understandable and very noble cause uh, they're working, not without any thing. So really, I appreciate that. Then... Uh, uh, definitely, the seva or the service to society is, a, uh, is a giving a lot of the pronouns to the puja, the uh, card. Maybe the service to the country, service to the society. Definitely, it will help. And I think the uh, the Swami Vivekananda Center at Mangalore University organized a very hot program. Uh, definitely, this is one of the lecture series. It's a 21st lecture series. Uh, that too from Mrs. Swati Ram, really good. I'm also very happy. And very glad and also privileged to me that I am a part of this uh, program to listen to the lecture and also part of the program. So thank you, Samiji, for giving an opportunity uh, to speak here. And uh, thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, thoughts, which uh, was yeah. uh, backed with a lot of experience, quoting the life lessons and from Sutturu, from Siddhaganga Mat, and of course the Ramakrishna Mat. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us during your busiest schedule. Thank you, sir. We're looking forward for the yeah, thank you. For upcoming activities for the betterment of the students' community at large. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Namaste.
you're on mute i think ranjan so my dear friends uh, let's move towards the next segment of the uh, series that is question and answer feedback session so if you have any questions please uh, drop it in the chat box or if you want to ask uh, questions directly uh, you can raise your hand prashne galan kelike idre devittu hand raise maadi atwa chat box nal haaki kannadadallu prashne anna kelabodu ಮತ್ತೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಅನಿಸಿಕೆ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಕ್ಕೂ ಸಹ ತಾವು ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾತನಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇದೆ ತಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಕೋ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ರೇಖಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೋಹಿನಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಾವು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೇಸ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿ ವೇಕ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈ ಅವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ to be compassionate towards other that's the question how to uh, pure purify our heart to compassionate towards others that's the question by mohini madam from government first grade college kaavu madam uh, namaste mohini madam uh, i think uh, our hearts are already pure it is only that you know we are crowded by so many um, things that we carry through all our births that we have to just uh, see that the kasturi parivala antarala athar adu adu ide olage gotagala adr mele eno dhool kootide anta so seva itself is a way to purify our heart and everything else comes as a by product the whole journey of uh, seva is through that so his ideal of service was that's why as simple as that that you just start doing something um one of the practical ways of doing this i think when i went somewhere a college was sharing is they mark that what is one good deed per day that we do today i did this something that is not for myself but for others like say today i uh, fed two animals today i help clean one road near my house so the one way to practice is if you could keep something and you know even the students of many colleges we encourage this that they keep a journal and do one good deed per day and uh, seva itself is a very intrinsic nature like we saw through everything it it just comes on its own and uh, interestingly ranjan was saying today's 21st like uh, lecture right they say it takes 21 days to form a habit <laughs> so many times we say do something for 21 days this is something we encourage in all schools we give them a calendar day 1 do this day 2 day 3 day 4 so at the end of 21 days it actually kind of becomes there's a debate it's 21 and 45 days but even if we could start with 21 it's a big thing so a very practical way of doing it ma'am though i would say our heart is already pure we have to just take out whatever is uh, uh, covering it right so one of the definite ways of doing it is by making this daily practice of trying to do some kind of volunteering something uh, the other way people do this also is by writing a gratitude journal that i'm thankful for something many times because there is no contentment and we are just expecting one thing after the other we feel that you know there's always something we are trying to do so there's other way of also doing it uh, practically is um, writing a gratitude journal that i'm thankful for this in my life today uh, so this definitely creates that fact but if we could even start with this 21 days some small seva activity other way also you can do this ma'am is um, vivekananda institute of human excellence you have already had a talk here i don't know if both man and this spoke about uh, seal your design they have a program called seal your design so every time us uh, you know there are a lot of students coming their youth they ask them to seal their design and if they want to buy something and uh, anything they uh, say them that you stop that seal your design and put that money in a box so at the end of a month or something use that to do some kind of seva activity right so these are small practical ways in which we could start uh, this uh, first step and then um, i think if i have to more philosophically answer it uh, sharanagati or surrender is the way this surrender to the lord and say use me as an instrument because swami vivekananda himself said ramakrishna can create hundreds like me just uh, by a speck of dust from his feet so let us believe that we are instruments of change uh, offer ourselves to him and uh, take it uh, further and, uh, i could see no other way than to purify ourselves than this whole uh, process of offering our at the feet of the lord and doing whatever we could uh, to others yeah. 
ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಒಂದು ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಬಹಳ ಸೊಗಸಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಅವರ ಮಾತುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸನಾತನ ಭಾರತದ ಆದರ್ಶವಾದ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಮತ್ತು ಸೇವೆ ಎನ್ನುವುದನ್ನು ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಪಡಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಪಡಿಸಿದರು ಸ್ಮರಣೀಯ ಮೆಲಕುಗಳು ಅನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಇಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೀಡುವುದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅಂತ ನಿವೃತ್ತ ಯೋಧರಾದಂತಹ ಬೆಳ್ಳಾಳ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ್ ರಾವ್ ಅವರು ತಿಳಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ್ ಜಿ ವಿ ಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರಿಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಸರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿವೇಕವಾಣಿ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೇ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ನಿಟ್ಟೆಡಿಂ ಟು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಈವನ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಸೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪುಂಜಾಲ್ ಕಟ್ಟೆ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಾವೂರ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಬೆಟ್ಟಂಪಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಟೀಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಶಾಲಜಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಗುರು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸಿಂಕತ್ ಕಟ್ಟೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಲ್ಲಡ್ಕ ದೇ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಶೋ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಂಡ್ just mentioned so among others is uh, shri hari prasad sir he is uh, uh, from uh, uh, government first grade college betampadi sir uh, uh, so please welcome sir over to you maatnadi yes. sir dai bitu yes i'm audible i think yes sir yes. Yes. you're audible okay. namaste madam uh, yes we used to listen or we used to read uh, several articles or we used to listen to various sessions related to seva and uh, its impact on various aspects of personality development uh, today's session uh, uh, how it is unique uh, as per observation the uh, madam made an attempt to connect it with the concepts like optimism contentment and uh, gratitude and all so i like it very much uh, the session of uh, madam Uh, as of now i have one particular question in connection to the same um, we we are making an attempt to, to develop uh, seva manobhav or uh, service attitude among ourselves and even uh, with uh, with others madam can you give me uh, the way in which we can inculcate uh, service attitude among ourselves or even others i think uh, continuation of what i was telling madam also if this uh, volunteering or it could be calendarized into the you know uh, uh, the academic thing you have because um, then it becomes a habit there are a lot of ways in which uh, students could be involved what is most important though when we do any kind of volunteering is to reflect upon it and to see what lessons we learn from it uh, so like you yourself said many times um, people ask this question vivekananda has so many things but how do we really follow it in daily life so right this is the question we always carry that uh, we could read big things so one definite way is to make this a calendar and make uh, uh, ca- the volunteering a part of the schedule uh, one more thing i always suggest especially to educational institutions is if you could arrange something like a seva yatra i think uh, even when i took a, a step to do something i didn't no so much about india or the samaja like the way is because the people say slums kodring irutha alle enagutho safe idya antala but i saw such a different uh, samaja different bharata when i stepped out uh, people are there there are strangers i travel alone most times in all kind of public transport they are so respectful they are always there to you know kind of help you with directions and everything and more importantly like i said we always think when we keep giving people keep stretching their hands but even they have so much of values in their life but they, when they don't want help they don't take it most of them so arranging the seva yatra i think uh, once a college or a school or anybody does this for a group i could also uh, suggest and make arrangements for you if you want to go but uh, this definitely opens our eyes like one of the examples i gave of rkm in sohra in that far state of meghalaya usually when people say north east they don't even know the seven or now the eight state that has been added they just classify it as north east but every state is so different uh, and places where um, it was not even very close to the indian mainland before imagine ramkrishna mat or vivekananda kendra have started working 100 years uh, and lot of students in that school have now become teachers so these kind of changes have to be seen 
and uh, seen to be believed. So Seva Yatra is again a definite way, I think, of uh, inculcating this. And I usually keep requesting and also think uh, lecturers will probably, uh, you know, kind of curse me later that I'm giving an idea that you take your children away. But it's a life lesson we are then giving. Otherwise, we are being drowned in so much of, you know, uh, just the academic things. And um, I think when I was there in 2019, Ranjan, I don't know, one of the deans or somebody was there. He said, while being successful, we can also be useful to the society. Yes. So that is the spirit which we have to do. Not everybody needs to leave their job or not everybody needs to give full time. But in whatever we do, can we contribute back to the society? Uh, that comes by combining both kinds of education. And um, these two things are definitely what I can think of Hari Prasadji. And uh, definitely um, uh, sharing a lot of such case studies with children. Because many times, uh, you know, we share the learnings and lessons and the uh, books that are written, but uh, the practical application that many people are doing, if there could be some case studies like this shared and uh, inspiring stories like this that are written on them, um, there are a lot of magazines that are published on Seva and other things. Uh, because one thing a lot of students also ask me is you're telling, yeah, sometimes people say examples from years ago, can you tell us something which is more contemporary, they ask. Right, the world was different then. Uh, that is why I was trying to bring some examples from now that students are doing. I met uh, one uh, student. He said he thought, "How can I do something for the society?" And because he was good at playing football, he formed a team of uh, children from slums, and he started teaching them football. Now that's a team which plays a lot of leagues. <laughs> so in whatever you have, but there was another girl who was teaching Bharata team because she was learning it to some slum girls. So there's no limit to what can be done. So we could combine the two. It's not necessary that, you know, everybody leaves and starts serving. Uh, so these could definitely be some practical ways of doing it, Hari Prasadji. I, I hope that answered your question. Yes. Thank you, uh, Madam, for uh, the response. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, feedbacks coming in the comment section where, uh, uh, Smita Shanaim, I'm also appreciated uh, about your presentation. Uh, uh, Sri KP Adiga sir has mentioned that Seva well explained through her marvelous uh, oratory skill and uh, powerful PowerPoint presentation. So it indeed brought a lot of you know impact by showing some of the uh, you know grassroots pictures where uh, you know the service in reality. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Uh, so now, uh, if the many questions are coming personally to me in the WhatsApp also, what I'll do is uh, you, you, you can reach uh, Madam through her email uh, email ID. I just dropped in a chat section where swathi dot yfs youth for seva yfs at gmail.com. So you can reach Madam uh, through this respective uh, Gmail ID. I also request the professors and the uh, faculty uh, friends to uh, reach Madam in upcoming days. You can organize a, a lecture series or a, a small uh, no training program from Madam for your uh, NSS students or maybe in your respective departments uh, where it will be uh, more impactful. It will be Madam is working internationally now where you can get an opportunity to uh, go, your students get an opportunity to uh, apply for a fellowship also. Uh, Madam got connected uh, with a mini corporate world where Madam is well versed in the uh, corporate social responsibility fund management and uh, its ideas. So some of our friends can also reach Madam to know more about CSR and it's, uh, you know, uh, how to raise and how to utilize the funds. That's also a very interesting aspect, uh, which is connected to the SEVA. So thank you, Madam, for uh, such an uh, inspiring session. Uh, let us move towards the vote of thanks, the last segment of the series. Uh, among the, with us is uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Monica, Madam. Am I audible to you? Am I audible? Yes, madam, can you please unmute yourself, Monica, ma'am? Uh, Monica, ma'am, can you please unmute? Uh, one minute. Uh, yes, 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 one minute. Uh, yes. Now you can unmute, madam. Now you can unmute. Yes. Now you are co-host. Yes. <laughs> so among others is Dr. Monica Sadananda, Deputy Director, IQAC and Coordinator of MSc Biotechnology Program, Mangalore University. Madam, we are glad to have you here for our out of thanks session. Ma'am, over to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ranjan, for this uh, kind introduction. Uh, respected speaker, 
that is our invited speaker of the day mrs swati ram special invitee dr h r mahendra swami professor shripati kalluraya who is the convener of this swami vivekananda study center of mangalore university dr chandru hegde who is also the coordinator dignitaries from across society elders faculty colleagues and dear student participants it is indeed an honor to be able to express the vote of thanks on behalf of mangalore university at this 21st lecture of the viveka vani lecture series we listened to a very inspirational motivational talk by mrs swati ram who is director of global plaque partnership at seva international bangalore thank you mrs swati for a wonderful exposition of swami vivekananda's thoughts and ideals using anecdotes and stories from across the country also from real life you brought the lecture series alive and took us on a journey of seva and self transformation informing us that we are all part of an interconnected cosmos and that through purity patience and perseverance as swami vivekananda has said that we are able to come out of the cocoon to become the butterfly towards seva or worship for not only self transformation but more importantly through oneness in practice to work towards nation building i think this was a very important talk especially for our next generation students so thank you very much ma'am on behalf of mangalore university swami vivekananda study center and of course our partner that is ramakrishna math thank you thank you very much our gratitude also goes on behalf of mangalore university to dr h r mahadeva swami who is joint director technical education division or ted as it is also called jss mahavidya peet mysore he had words of wisdom and words of experience that he shared at this juncture as a special invitee he also spoke from his experience and i'm sure he will continue to contribute his leadership at his own institution that is jss mahavidya peet as they also show the path for many other universities to follow he specially also mentioned this differently able students and how they volunteer or how they serve it is really an example that many other universities also have to follow so thank you thank you very much dr h r mahadeva swami on behalf of mangalore university swami vivekananda study center as well as ramakrishna math thank you thank you very much our gratitude also goes to professor shripati kalluraya who is the convener of this study center at mangalore university he has shown great leadership in starting the study center he has had a long and distinguished career at mangalore university and i am sure the study center is benefiting from his vast experience thank you very much professor kalluraya for not only starting the session but also for welcoming the speakers of the day thank you very much thanks also to dr chandru hegde who is also present today who is a coordinator of the study center for all the work that he has been doing thank you very much dr chandru hegde last but not least thanks to dr ranjan bellarpadi of ramakrishna math for very beautifully introducing the session to us and also for taking us along the various uh, sequence of events but most importantly dr ranjan thank you very much to the ramakrishna math for partnering with mangalore university to establish this study center and for bringing vivekananda directly to the new generation of students today we sp speak a lot about value addition or value based education and i think you have shown a very beautiful example of how this can be done as you know mangalore university has many study centers so i think definitely this flagship program that you have started should be taken up also by our other study center so that the next generation will be able to benefit from it i think the take home message of today was as somebody rightly pointed out be the change you want to see in the world or rather become the change you want to see in the world so on this small note from my side we would like to thank one and all for their very marvelous contribution for today's event thank you thank you thanks to professor monica madam for uh, such a you no know, uh, inspiring uh, you no know, well written you know means uh, you have listened the entire uh, lecture and you have made a notes and you have summarized this was uh, really happy thank you so much madam for vote of thanks thank you 
So my dear friends, let us uh, conclude this Vivekavani lecture series number 21. So in the next month, we'll be meeting again with uh, one more uh, lecture, the lecture number 22, uh, which may not, which will be in a uh, offline mode because on the January 12th, we are going to celebrate National Youth Day on the auspicious occasion of Swami Vivekananda's birthday. So Mangalore University, we are going to celebrate uh, Swami Vivekananda's birthday in uh, Mangala Auditorium with the presence of nearly 1,500 students. So we'll try our best to uh, assemble all the students and we'll be organizing a motivational talk uh, by an inspiring uh, person who read, who read more on Swami Vivekananda. So we'll just uh, make this program a great success. We'll share the YouTube link on that day where you can watch the live of uh, the, the talk will be broadcasted from Mangalore University in association with Ramakrishna Mission Mangalore. So thank you so much to all the uh, participants and the professors, faculty, friends who are present over here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Swati Madam. Thank you, Monica Madam. And thanks to everyone. Kalurai sir and Chandu Hegde sir. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ram Krishna Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. So till uh, still we are getting a lot of uh, you know, chats where students are mentioning and uh, Dr. Ravi Chandra sir is from Nitte Jim to be University uh, saying thank you uh, for the session. So uh, Danya Shetty from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you for every, uh, thank you very much, madam, for excellent session. Very resourceful, ex explain uh, Seva with live examples, motivational talk. So my dear friends uh, uh, and the faculty friends, we'll, uh, those who are connected, we'll also send a uh, YouTube link where you can listen uh, Madam's lecture again. And the uh, playlist also is available where you can go back to listen the previous 20 lectures by eminent uh, speakers on Swami Vivekananda. Thank you so much. Namaste. Jai Hind.